As we have seen in the first presentation, literature search is the first step for literature review. Let us see the steps in literature search. This module deals with the steps involved in literature review and steps in literature search, which is the first step of literature review. Objectives of this module are, at the end of this module, you will be able to explain steps in conducting literature review and discuss steps involved in literature search. Steps in literature review. First step in literature review is, you first pick up a broad topic. For example, the broad topic decided by the researcher is mobile learning. This can be the broad area in education technology. After you pick up a broad topic, you will have to narrow down the approach and find out the articles or pick up the articles accordingly. Let us take an example. For example, mobile learning is a broad topic in education technology. Now, after inspection or after analytically looking at the uh, journal articles and research, if it is decided to do or to take up this approach of mobile learning with cloud computing, then this will be the narrowing of the approach and then accordingly you can weed out the irrelevant articles and take the relevant articles and most important article first. This is the second step in literature review. After you narrow down for the relevant articles, next step is look at scholarly peer-reviewed articles. For example, search in IEEE documents for scholarly articles on cloud computing and mobile learning or mobile learning and blog mining. Peer-reviewed journals are very important and they are primary sources of information and hence this step in literature review is very crucial. After following the first three steps, it is advisable to analyze the earlier research. Where would we find the earlier research? There are directories of Association of Indian Universities which give you the earlier research, of course. Besides that, Shodha Ganga by Inflibnet will give you whatever research has been conducted. Similarly, for current research, there is Shodha Gangotri. Whatever topics have already been taken up, this also has to be looked into. There are also sites like Vidyanidhi and ProQuest is the database of world over thesis, that is world over research that has been already done. And for open access material, you can look out in the institutional repositories or there is one directory of institutional repositories, DOAR, open door or DOAZ, Directory of Open Access Journals, wherein in these peer-reviewed journals, you will get the research that is reported in the form of articles. So, finding out the earlier research is very, very important at this stage. After analyzing the earlier research, knowing the main authors and the material produced by them is very important. For example, you should know the main authors and contributors in the broad field of your research. If your topic is related to open access movement in technology, you should know the works by P.A. Subir. Or if it is related to Web 2.0, you should search for Tim O'Reilly. So these seminal authors, those who have made into, those who have really contributed to the field, these authors should be looked into. 
their main works should be looked into for concept clarification as well as including them in your bibliography, reading the material. So this is very important step in literature review again. After having a look into earlier researches done and knowing and seeing the seminal material, the researcher should ask the questions, what are the findings and what is missing in this research? Maybe that some related concepts which should have been included as you think as per your opinion are not at all considered by these researchers then this will be a good opportunity for you as a researcher to take up these concepts on which no original research is available. So this will be your own contribution. That is the reason why these questions need to be asked. Steps in literature search. Literature search is the first step in literature review. Here you have to select a topic with the help of catalogs, bibliographies, thesis. Here you locate the published material in forms of books, journal articles, thesis reviews and also reviews of books and manuscripts. Now you have to define the terminology with the use of glossaries, thesauri, subject encyclopedias, and also subject dictionaries to clarify your own concepts which you are going to dwell upon in your research. Depending on the topic, you have to define the parameters like time, that is date, then place, where it is published or where, what is the place that is taken up for research and third is type of material. Let us take some examples. For time, for example, for open access material or for the topic open access, the material that is chosen can be taken up from 2000 onwards because it is a recent topic. So your literature review can start with the material from 2000. So latest material is very important. The time is important here. Historical material does not have any significance that way before 2000 because the uh, moment itself is generated at that time. If somebody has done role analysis of teachers, beard teachers in Calcutta, then the researcher can take up the role analysis of BA teachers in Mumbai. So where it is done, where the research is done, accordingly then you can take up the topic with the help of the literature review. While reviewing, you can say that this has been done in Calcutta and my, how my uh, research is different and unique. Third is the type of material that is very important. For example, in er, uh, the study of ergonomics, uh, standards are very important. Like BIS standards are there and time saver standards that are world standards become very important. So that type of material is important. Sometimes patents are there which are very important. Sometimes manuscripts are there which are very significant for your study. So or report literature is there. Accordingly, that type of literature you will have to search and you will have to review in your literature review. Now list possible search terms or keywords of the related topics. For example, if your topic is relationship between stress and burnout of school teachers, here Picking up keywords like stress, burnout and school teachers will help. Similarly, you can also search under tension. So think of possible search terms and accordingly go to the databases 
library catalogs which will give you best literature in your own topic. Now for finding keywords or finding material, you have to select the sources for the clarification of concepts from glossaries and other things, other references. You have to go to library as well as internet. The libraries can be digital or virtual as well as physical libraries where you can get your concepts clarified. This is again an important step in literature search. Now for literature search, start with the catalogs. Catalogs will give you the details about the books. Many a times, ready-made bibliographies also are available on internet. Indexes of articles will give you complete references to these articles and databases like ERIC, which is in education, or even PsycInfo will give you articles. Some databases give books, journal articles, and also thesis. So these are important documents. Catalogs, bibliographies, indexes, and databases are used to search the literature. Now the last step in literature search is actually getting hold of documents after searching the document. They can be paper-based as well as online documents. Which are they? There can be books, there can be articles in the journals, there can be thesis, annual reports, standards and patents. For example, standards are very useful for the students of ergonomics. Researchers in ergonomics have to use time saver standards or BIS standards. Annual reports also are important if you are studying a particular institution or a university. Thesis, you know, they are primary resources, so they are also equally important. So, browsing through all these sorts of documents is important in literature search. Summary. To sum up, in this module, we have seen the steps in literature search, which is the first step in literature review. And we have also seen the literature review and you will be able to distinguish between the two now. Thank you.